Chapter 16 Nico You're not Orion, Nico blurted. A stupid comment, but it was the first thing that came to his mind. The man before him clearly was not a giant hunter. He wasn't tall enough, he didn't have dragon legs, he didn't carry a bow or quiver, and he didn't have headlamp eyes that Rain had described from her dream. The gray man laughed. Indeed not. Orion has merely employed me to assist him in his hunt. I am... Lycaon, Raina interrupted, the first werewolf. The man gave her a mock bow. Raina Ramirez Ariano, Praetor of Rome, one of Lupa's whelps. I am pleased you recognize me. No doubt I am the stuff of your nightmares. The stuff of my indigestion, perhaps. From her belt pouch, Raina produced a foldable camping knife. She flicked it open, and the wolves snarled, backing away. I never travel without a silver weapon. Lycaon bared his teeth. Would you keep a dozen wolves and their king at bay with a pocket knife? I heard you're brave, Phyla Romana. I did not realize you were foolhardy. Reyna's dogs crouched, ready to spring. The coach gripped his baseball bat, though for once he didn't look anxious to swing. Nico reached for the hilt of his sword. Don't bother, muttered the coach. These guys are only hurt by silver or fire. I remember them from Pike's Peak. They're annoying. I remember you, Gleason Hedge. The werewolf's eyes glowed lava red. My pack will be delighted to have a goat meat for dinner. Hedge snorted. Bring it on, mangy boy. The hunters of Artemis are on their way right now, just like last time. That's a temple of Diana over there, you idiot. You're on their home turf. Again, the wolves snarled and widened their circle. Some glanced nervously towards the rooftops. Lycaon only glared at the coach. A nice try, but I'm afraid that temple has been misnamed. I passed through here during Roman times. It was actually dedicated to the Emperor Augustus. Typical demigod vanity. Regardless, I've been much more careful since our last encounter. If the hunters were anywhere close by, I would know it. Nico tried to think of an escape plan. They were surrounded and outnumbered. Their only effective weapon was a pocket knife. The scepter of Diocletian was gone. The Athena Parthenos was thirty feet above them at the top of a temple, and even if they could reach it, they couldn't shadow travel until they actually were in the shadows. The sun wouldn't set for hours. He hardly felt brave, but he stepped forward. You got us. What are you waiting for? Lycaon studied him like a new type of meat in a butcher's display case. Nico D'Angelo, son of Hades, I've heard of you. I'm sorry I can't kill you promptly but I promised my employer Orion that I would detain you until he arrives. No worries, he should be here in a few moments. Once he's done with you, I shall spill your blood and mark this place as my territory for ages to come. Nico grit his teeth. Demigod blood? The blood of Olympus? Of course, Lycaon said. Spilled upon the ground, especially sacred ground, demigod blood has many uses. With the proper incantations, it can awaken monsters or even gods. It can cause new life to spring up or make a place barren for generations. Alas, your blood will not waken Gaia herself. That honor is reserved for your friends aboard the Argo, too. But fear not, your death will be almost as painful as theirs. The grass started dying around Nico's feet. The marigold beds withered. Barren ground, he thought. Sacred ground. He remembered the thousands of skeletons in the Chapel of Bones. He recalled what Hades had said about this public square, where the Inquisition had burned hundreds of people alive. This was an ancient city. How many dead lay in the ground beneath his feet? Coach, he said, can you climb? Hedge scoffed. I'm half goat! Of course I can climb! Get up to the statue and secure the rigging. Make a rope ladder and drop it down for us. Uh... But the pack of wolves? Reina, Nico said. You and your dogs will have to cover our retreats. The praetor nodded grimly. Understood. Lycaon howled with laughter. Retreat to where, son of Hades? There is no escape. You cannot kill us. Maybe not, Nico said. But I can slow you down. He spread his hands, and the ground erupted.